Hey guys, it's Jason Brubaker again. So Eric B. sent me a question through comments on my last video. He said, he said, what page sizes and resolution do you use, especially when formatting to the Webtoons platform? Um, it looks a lot different than trying to make physical comic pages, and I'm having problems making panels look well when I submit art to Webtoons using resized original pages. What I'll do is I'll play this little video of me working on uh, on my Webtoons post, uh, pulling artwork into uh, a large canvas that's very tall and um, or Photoshop file, I guess. And what I do, what I do generally is um, I have a canvas that is 800 pixels wide in Photoshop, and I have it, you know, probably 30,000 pixels tall. Um, I, I just guess because I don't know how long it will be. And then what I do is I bring in my, uh, I open up my pages my, and I work in spreads for Cithra. So on the left hand side you'll see my spreads um, from the actual book. And, and then on the right hand side you see this long canvas that's a very verti long vertical canvas that I'm dragging um, elements to. And what I generally do is I shrink the words down 60% and that ends up uh, looking the way it does on Webtoons. I flatten all the artwork on one layer on the spread and then I flatten all the, the text into one layer. And so then I, what I do is I grab artwork and I don't necessarily grab the full panels because with Webtoons you really have to think of it as its own thing. You, you can't really just transcribe it straight from page to to Webtoons. So, you know, there's there's instances like here where um, I cropped in on this panel with with this kid looking over the edge of this machine. And then what I what I'm gonna do is um, grab another frame from that same panel and add it below it. So you know, look on Webtoons it looks like two panels. Um, but it's it's only one panel in the book. And it's because, you know, you need to kind of space things out in this vertical format so that you can read it clearly. And if I'm just pulling stuff straight from Webtoons, it's not very clear because, you know, I'm leading your eye around on a page a certain way, and that doesn't translate to Webtoons. And what I learned with Webtoons is... Instead of trying to be creative, leading your eye back and forth across the, the canvas, I, I just focus on leading you straight down. So I just put, I just stack the panels one on top of each other. I do very little with them side by side unless, um, unless it has to be that way. <clears throat> and so as you can see, I just keep pulling them over and kind of cropping in a lot so that it has a lot more vertical to it. Um, and, and then I pull in the word balloons separately and, and shrink them down 60% uh, so that the words are all kind of consistent. And then just, you know, paste the word balloons over top of it. And for the most part, it works good. Um, I haven't found a, an ideal perfect solution because uh, I don't think there is one really. Um, because, you know, you're, especially if you're creating the pages as pages, and then translating it to webtoons, it's it's just what it is. You know, you have to think about it in a different way. Um, another thing I've learned to do is put some nice space between the panels. So, as I'm telling the story, um, instead of button the panels up right next to each other, I put a little space between them, and it gives it breathing room, and it allows the 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 user to be able to the user to be able to um, read it at their speed, one panel by, at a time, one panel at a time. If you cram a bunch of panels together, it doesn't it doesn't make it easy to um, to surprise the audience with things that pop up in the next panel. So, and see, for instance, right here, I'm. Uh, I just cropped in on a picture of the sand because the dialogue is about, you know, 
the machine moving on through the sand. And so I just got creative and made my made a completely unique panel because I mean this is a spread that I'm working on and that would go by super fast if I just dragged that over and shrunk it down so it fit. So I ended up making a panel with the sand, a long panel with uh, the kid Dino, and putting words in between the panels. And then what I'll do is actually pull an image from what he's looking at, and that will be a third panel. So this spread, which was just one panel, ended up being three panels. And it wouldn't really work. It wouldn't have really worked just dragging that spread into Webtoons and saying, there you go, done, you know, because you know, all that detail and the interest that you're trying to move people's eyes around with is lost. So that's kind of my, that's kind of my little hint um, that I do is, is I try to, on, on comic pages, you lead people's eye around the page with how you lay out your panels and have, how your action is in the panels. But on webtoons, you're just going straight down, one panel on top of each other, and you're going down, and so you're leading people with the places that you that you pull from your artwork you know so if you if in a panel like this you you wanted to lead people from from the sky down into the sand and then over to Dino and then back up to his point of interest you'd start with the sky as a panel Dino as a panel his point of interest as a panel and anyway th so those are my thoughts and um, hopefully that helps and uh, good luck translating your comics to webtoons. I hope uh, you guys find some success with it um, and, and maybe even become a featured artist because it is very rewarding. It's very demanding, but it's very rewarding too. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, leave them below. Um, my next video will probably be about um, colors, textures that I've been trying to put together for a long time. Oh, and check this out. I just got remind hardcover it is a German translation and it's beautiful looking um, it's by Popcom there cover my face check it out it's really good looking I just got it today super pumped all right guys see you next time